Cat Synth TV. Hey everybody, Cat Synth TV, and this is part two of our detailed look at the Arturia Synclavier V. In this video, we focus on the synthesis engine and how to build your own sounds from scratch. If you haven't yet seen part one, we recommend you do so first using the link in the card above. And please do subscribe to this channel for more synthesizer tutorials and other content. Okay, to get started building our own sounds, let's choose the default template, which is really just a sine wave. We're now going to switch to the screen view for the remainder of this video. As mentioned in part one, the Synclavier uses a combination of additive and FM synthesis. There are 12 partials in a sound. Each partial contains one or more frames describing changes in the sound over time. Each partial also contains a carrier and a modulator oscillator, which is used for FM. More on that later. Each of these oscillators can be described using 24 harmonics, or amplitudes of individual sine waves tuned at multiples of the pitch frequency. When only the first harmonic is active, you get a sine wave. We can draw in additional harmonics to get more complex sounds. As I add them in order, you can hear the harmonic series. The result is a timbrely rich tone. We can draw any contour we want for the harmonics, which results in different waveforms and thus very different tones. There are some preset buttons for common waveforms at the bottom of the panel. Selecting the button will snap the harmonic series to the particular waveform, like Sawtooth. A square wave is just the odd partials. And finally, the triangle wave. Okay, we're going to switch back to a Sawtooth and introduce multiple frames. On the timeline at the top of the panel, we can add a second frame. We can add different harmonics for this partial, such as setting it to a square wave. When we play the sound, it will morph between the two. The purplish lines on the harmonic window represent the change. By switching between frames, we can see and hear the relative changes. Okay, so far we've been only working with a single partial. We can add a second partial to the sound by clicking on Partial 2, and then we go to the Mixer panel in order to activate it by increasing the volume. Going back to the engine, we can now draw our own harmonics for Partial 2. The sound we just heard contains the harmonics from both partials. Let's add a second frame to partial 2, add some harmonics. Okay, let's add a third frame now and create even more changes within the second partial. By composing multiple frames over multiple partials, you can hear that we can create complex sounds rather quickly. But what about the modulator? That is used for the FM component of the synthesis, and we can turn that on by going to the mixer panel and selecting FM Mod. This will enable frequency modulation on the carrier wave for partial 1. Let's hear that now. We can add additional harmonics to modulators just like we can to carriers. Like carrier harmonics, modulator harmonics can change over time with different frames. Okay, now we're going to go to the mods panel, which brings up the modulation matrix for the sound. Here, we can set different controllers to map to different parameters of different partials. 
Let's set the mod wheel to control a parameter called FM ratio for all the partials. FM ratio changes the rate at which the modulator operates on the carrier. Modulating the ratio this way truly shows the complexity as well as the power of FM synthesis and also why it's so hard to program. Let's go to the envelope page now. We can modify the amplitude contour of each partial as well as the way its harmonics change over time. Let's go to partial 1 now and change the amplitude. You can hear how that changes the attack of the sound. Now let's edit the harmonic envelope. You can see how much this changes the sound. Okay, now that we've built up our own sound using the basic parameters of the synthesis engine, Let's go to one of the built-in presets and try to deconstruct it. Let's go back to the engine pane. We can see that partial 2 has a complex harmonic structure. We can also see how it changes over the course of three frames. Okay, for fun, let's insert another frame over here and draw our own harmonics. The additional frame adds a layer of complexity to the sound. The Synclavier V also allows you to build up partials using samples instead of additive synthesis carrier waves. We click on the Sample tab in the carrier and then select a sample waveform from the browser. Let's choose this bassoon over here. Instead of the harmonics, we hear the sample waveform. Let's hear it now. We can change the start and stop time of the sample as well as loop points. Okay, let's bring the start time in a little tighter. <laughs> okay, we can add some additional partials with their own samples. Let's go to Partial 2, click on the Sample and Browser, and pick a different one. We will now hear both samples together. Let's go ahead and add another partial with its own sample. In addition to just scrolling through the browser, we can also search by typing into the search bar. In this case, we want to use a water phone. We can combine FM with the sample engine. Let's turn up the FM mod on partial 1. Okay, that's a little harsh. Maybe let's dial it back a little bit. Let's change the relative mix. We can add additional frames for the modulator, although the sample must remain the same on all frames. Let's add another frame. We can mix and match additive synthesis carriers and sample carriers in the same sound on different partials. Here we're going to add an additive synthesis based on the square wave. <laughs> 
and we can add some additional frames of our harmonics as well. Let's add a little bit of a modulator to it and turn up FM mod on that partial. Let's transpose partial four down an octave and see what happens. We have an incredibly complex sound. Let's modify the envelopes a little bit. Okay, so in the last example, we used some of the built-in samples in the library, but you can also bring in your own via the file browser. Let's bring in some samples of my cat, Sam Sam. In this first one, you can hear both meowing and purring. Let's raise the volume on that a little bit. Because it samples, the speed of the sound changes along with the pitch. Let's add a second partial with a different sample of Sam Sam. Of course, don't forget to raise the volume in the mixer whenever you add a new partial. Let's solo it out so we can listen to it in isolation. Okay, I'm going to zero in on that second area using the start and end time pointers. Now, in addition to just playing samples using the sample engine, we can also analyze them, which turns them into their own additive synthesis waves. Let's change the carrier. And now what we can do is add some frames we want to use for the analysis. You can also use auto-place to have the system place the frames for you. Once we hit apply, we will get an additive synthesis version of the sound. And of course, it sounds absolutely nothing like the original meow, but it's still interesting. Let's go ahead and add a third partial, which has the original sample in it. Let's tighten the start and end points again. And now let's add partial three into the mix, as well as add some FM to partial one. Okay, now let's return to one of the presets which contains both samples and additive synthesis and see how it's all put together. The first three partials have samples in them, but partial four uses additive synthesis with harmonics and multiple frames. One more time, let's increase the FM on partial one for good measure. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and now have some ideas about how to create your own sounds using the Synclavier V.
If there is anything you'd like us to cover that we didn't, or any questions you have about anything we did cover, please leave a comment below. To find out more about the Arturia Synclavir V, please visit Arturia.com and check out the description below this video. Thanks for watching. Check out more at www.catsynth.com and please subscribe to CatSynth TV.